Greetings and salutations, Charlton66 here once again with another video. Um, I attended a small comic book convention today, this afternoon. Uh, it was a perfect day for it. It was cool and rainy in the D.C. metro area, so uh, what perfect time to uh, to go to a comic book convention. Um, it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good affair. It, it's half. Um, it was in a ballroom at the Doubletree Hotel, and half of the ballroom was uh, uh, comic books and comic book related material and the other half was um, sports cards so um, it was like I said it was a pretty good turnout uh, it was some pretty good dealers it was a packed room it was pretty tight um, seemed like there was a lot of people there looking for comics which was a good thing a lot of good deals so um, some of the stuff I picked up I didn't have a uh, strict thing I was looking for. I just took my want list with me and uh, searched through boxes until I can find things that I wanted and stuff to add to the Charlton collection. One of the first things I picked up and I found was Fighting Air Force number 12, 100 pager. It has a pretty, uh, pretty nice cover. Running Air Force number 12. And this was pretty cool to find. Attack number 48. The last issue. It's got an awesome Simon and Kirby cover with all uh, Wally Wood artwork in it, which I thought was really cool. Found that for, for hardly nothing. A couple bucks, I think. But it's got a little print run because it's the last issue. Um, 84 is when this came out. But uh, pretty awesome cover, and again, you can't go wrong with uh, a Simon and Kirby cover with a Wally Wood artwork. And this has been elusive for some reason. I haven't been able to find a decent copy. I don't, I don't know why. I really have not looked for it, but it's not that big of a deal. It's nothing to write home home about. But it's Super Villain Team Up number one, and it's awesome. It's got the date stamp right there on top. Everything's pretty cool. I always love having the date stamps on it. But it's a really nice copy. Um, for some reason, I've I've never come across it. And you know, um, looking through the, some some of the bins, I'm not. It's not been on my radar per se. But nonetheless, I thought we'd come across it by now, just just by chance. But like I said, it's not a big deal. But it, it's. I think I need one more issue. Then my super villain team up run is completed. This is an odd title, um, Young Eagle, the Valiant Indian Sleuth from Charlton. This is number three from 1956. It's got an awesome Dick Giordano cover, pretty nice cover on this. Um, number three, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice copy. Um, again, this is a title I've never heard of before, so when I saw it, of course, I've snagged it up. The Valiant Indian Sleuth. Hmm. All right, this is pretty cool. Uh, Monster Hunters, a special issue of Monster Hunters number fourteen, all Ditko issue. Again, one more issue to my Monster Hunter run. All Ditko issue. Pretty darn cool. Got Marvel feature number twelve. Pretty nice. Pretty, uh, pretty nice, uh, nice condition issue too. Model feature number twelve. Really nice. And I found everyone's favorite uh, gold key comic book, the giant classic of King Kong. The greatest, greatest adventure story of all time. Find that for a pretty good price. Um, it's nice to have in the collection. Part of my Green Lantern run that I get when it's every time it any time it has um, the Golden Age Green Lantern in it, Alan Scott, I pick him up 
This is Green Lantern number 61. Anytime it has my boy in it there, I pick it up. Earth's first Green Lantern. Of course, drawn by Gil Kane, which makes it this even more of a issue to have in your collection. Now, these Red Wolves I got are beautiful condition of Red Wolf. Um, he's number two. Awesome Gil Kane cover. Speaking of Gil Kane, awesome um, issues of Red Wolf. Number two. Number four. And these are just almost brand new off the rack. Um, it's a beautiful cover. This is by Sid Shores, I do believe. I knew he did the interiors. Pretty sure that's a Sid Shores cover. And this all black cover is just breathtaking, really. This is definitely a Sid Shores cover on this one. I would love to see the Western Ghost Rider and the more in this appear in these issues and which would really be really cool. Fun little series. Again, these issues are just beautiful. And how we got into modern times, I do not know. I need to get that those issues. If anyone knows, please comment. I'm dying to know. Number seven. And last but not least, number eight. Too late, engine baby. Because we're hell on wheels. Surrounded by a motorcycle gang. Calling themselves hell on wheels. Looks like a Charlton cover if you ask me. Hell on wheels motorcycle gang. That's number eight. Again these are just really beautiful. Beautiful shape. Uh, that's all I picked up from the show. Not a lot I picked up from, from there. There's a lot I really wanted to get. But I had to. You know, curve what I really wanted to run it to uh, to pick up, but I also got a buddy of mine. Gave bought me this um, awesome golden figure. Um, I don't know if you can really see it or not. There we go. Nice, awesome box. It's from Mezco. They're Silent Screamers Deluxe figures. I'm gonna be taking this out of the box soon, but. Just got back from the show, so I figure uh, shorten these box. Nice silent horror movie. Nice figure to have. Nice addition to my collection. Also got a small uh, pack from Midtown. Um, nothing jaw dropping, but stuff I need for my collection. That's all that really matters. I've been missing, I had up all the issues of Tom Strong and the Robots of Doom. I missed number five all those years ago and I was probably able to get it from Midtown. So Tom Strong and the Robots of Doom. The series I liked and I missed number two and number five was Demonic. There's two and five of Demonic. And Black Lightning number two. The six issue miniseries. Like the character. So I pick it up this series. And Captain America 696. The last issue of Bug, I do believe. Number six, which is a pretty cool cover. And because I like the character as well, uh, sixth issue of The Demon, The Demon, Hell is Earth. 
number two. First issue is pretty decent. So I figured I'd pick up number two and continue reading the series. Well, that's all I have. Um, if you want to show anything recently that I picked up. Again, I thank everyone for uh, viewing and subscribing. Thank you for all the comments. I do appreciate everything everyone's commented on. So the suggestions, the corrections, um, things I should have known better about and and either spoke wrong or just didn't know what, the, what I was talking about. People corrected me and uh, sent me the right way, so that's cool. But um, again, I hope everyone had a good weekend, and um, thanks again for uh, for our viewing.